Another solution is BAG, a digital platform that helps students and graduates to practice what they're learning in theory in the classroom with what the employees are looking for. How do we do this? We partner with employers to understand exactly what they're looking for in a fresh graduate, and we use that data to create modules and programs that students can solve on a day-to-day -day basis. By using our platform, students are earning real work experience that employers are looking for. Businesses are, face, uh, are benefiting from a low training cost when it comes to entry-level talents, and universities are achieving a high post-graduation employment rate. Afri Farmers shows up, and this is our product, where how now you and me who are in Kigali or in any place or at your home, you can access this fresh, fresh produce directly from the farm. You, it's, how does it work? You just at home, you press the order. So we start with the farmer. The farmer will keep after harvesting. We, we, we bring it here in Kigali where we have our storage facilities. Then you order through our platform, we can bring it at home. You not moving any, any, any distance, reaches it, which, which is more, much more affordable. And the farmer remains at the, at the farm and gets more income and gets more and grows and also impact our, our society. Ni muri urwo rwego natekereje ese ni gute twabunga bunga ibikoresho ndanga amateka by'umuco wacu nkuko dukorerwa izizame di Rwanda bityo twifashije itera ikorana buhanga tukaba twakora smart home devices bityo ukiguza akajyana igikoresho cy'ikorana buhanga kandi agatwara n'igikoresho ndanga amateka cy'umuco wacu ni muri urwo rwego nifashije ama 3D printers ma umumaro mushya ibikoresho ndanga amateka by'umuco w'abanyarwanda kugira ngo nibura n'imyaka izagendiza ntibizacike ahubwo bizakomeze bikoreshwa ariko none wo bijyana n'igihe tuzaba turimo I'm not a magician but I would like to give you a trip in the future a future where everyone has clean reliable and affordable access to electricity and a future where no asset goes to waste prematurely and if I could ask you, what do you think is standing between us in that future? It is the cost of breeding everything we need to breed, and it's also the decision we are making right now on how we approach getting to that future. Are we really planning on importing everything and throwing them away after only using a portion of their capacity? Or can we actually make everything here and be innovative on how we think of ownership and uh, service models to enable circularity and efficient waste management? At Second Life Storage, we believe in this future, this second option. We are building the technology and the enterprise to enable it. And I'm inviting you all to join us in making it a reality. Evolero Tech is just that. It's a digital system that helps hospitals to operate paperlessly, processing information very fast. It is user-friendly. Doctors love it. It is affordable and it works with or without internet. It also produces automated reports. There are about 2,000 health facilities in our beautiful country of Rwanda, and they process, on average, 16 million patient visits every year. Our main target market for the moment is the 158 private clinics. And the product we are giving to them really is taking something like you are seeing on the screen, this stack of papers, and replacing it with something like this. This technology that I piloted and created helps doctors retrieve a patient file within just a few seconds. The maximum is five. That's the promise we give to the hospitals we work with. And when a doctor has retrieved a patient file, while they are treating and entering this information, they can see on the left panel, or on the left side, the whole medical history of this patient. We've waited so long to know who is going to be the hunger pitch fest champion, and who is walking away with 50,000 US dollars. In fifth place, the winner is mm -hmm. It's loading. The winner is 
Karisimbi Technology Solutions. Please come and take a picture. This is a good moment. He goes home with 12,500 US dollars to invest in his business. Thank you very much. And in fourth place, in fourth place, the winner is Bag. Bag. He also goes home with 12,500 as an investment in his business and a good smart solution that he pitched today. Congratulations. And my job is to break the news, which I'm loving. In third place, the winner is Afri Farmers. Afri Farmers presented a beautiful idea, and to that reason, he goes home with 15,000 US dollars, an investment in his brilliant tech solution. Two are remaining, and one of them is going to be crowned the overall champion of Hunger Pitch Fest. In second place, the winner is Second Life Storage. <laughs> well, I'm pretty much you understand what that means. By knowing the second, you know the first. But the second also goes home with an amount equivalent to 20,000 US dollars cash. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. We can hear your excitement. I'm just uh, thrilled, very pleased uh, to be here joining you for this very happy moment and having had uh, all you had today, uh, I join you uh, in recognizing the five Startups that have been uh, have received the uh, awards in this first ever event of uh, Hunger uh, Pitch Fest. This is a very interesting, an excellent initiative. And I commend all institutions uh, involved, as well as the youth who have spent the day here learning about entrepreneurship and innovation. Uh, and as I said earlier, this is just the beginning. So I think more is going to be done and more is going to be achieved as we go forward. Because if you 
want to drive the economy based on knowledge, which is very important, and by the way, which is available in any part of the world you go to. It just uh, depends on how you are ready to tap into that. Uh, the difference will be made by how you focus on it, you invest in it, and see it uh, with the, that importance it holds. Uh, the hunger, hunger pitch fest has equipped all those who participated with the new tools uh, to help you grow your companies. I want to encourage you uh, to take full advantage of the programs and the services in our country to help uh, start up entrepreneurs succeed. I want to single out an example of uh, Norskin, East Africa, which just launched a health tech hub and we offer 20 Rwandan startups a platform to solve some of Africa's health challenges. Congratulations and uh, we appreciate that contribution. More public private partnerships will be needed to accelerate the growth of this ecosystem, in particular in higher education and research. The most successful startups are rooted in science, research, and technology. In all advanced economies, eventually which we want ours to be, the linkages between universities and entrepreneurship are deep and productive. In Africa, it's not going to be any different. To all the sponsors and partners here with us today, once again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for your commitment and all resources and your time you put into this. We still have a long way to go. But let's continue working together to see tangible results. I would wish for the finalists great success going forward. You have all our full support, including those who did not succeed. We want them to succeed next time. So I wish you a very happy evening. And uh, please uh, be and stay safe and let's work hard going forward. Thank you very much. Mr. President, as we gather here um, this evening, I think it's a call to action for all of us. What we've seen is brilliant and amazing ideas, but there's also a need to continue to support them. They can't walk this entrepreneurial journey alone, and they're going to need all of us. 
whether it's the advice we give them, whether it's the data we open up to them so that they have relevant solutions, whether it's the money that they need to take them to the next level, I think everyone in this room has a role to play in taking them to the next level. So as I end my remarks, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you because if it wasn't for you, um, for really believing in the young people that are here today, uh, giving them a reason uh, to make a difference in this country's, uh, in contributing to the country's growth, we wouldn't be here today. And it's because of you that we're here today. And I ask everyone in the room to join me in thanking the president for this commitment. Thank you very much. And I always kept thinking, like His Excellency said many times in a lot of his speeches, that the future is in the young people of Rwanda. And how do we unleash the power of the young people of Rwanda to change the economy? And I believe that from, I, I thought it would be a small, humble start of a startup competition. It turned into an amazing event, so it's not such a humble start. But since this event is going to be now an yearly event, where I personally contributed money for the event to succeed, I think that this event will be the, the event that will ignite what I called in, this, in the words that I said here before, startup nation of Africa. We am going to present the Republic of Bio. Ni gitanga za mu bitanga za ni chini cha neje chini. No gamba na imi jere. No gamba ya ramu jisi je. Ni mu bitanga je. No vungu vuna nara washa kuachi ra kubizi waiho. Ah, izimini yoni mirongo tano. Ah, ni zonza kuresha ni bi ni fuzaga. Ni bi nubiza na mafranga meza bure se akishi mira. Bije kumfasha gukora bzinshi kandi bitanu kanya. Wito na wakiria wangane. Banezerewe, could you need room creator Zangana? Mugango, we rero, we hang on his sons and have you heard. Is your machine in Nereka and Yokonje Kugura, as Zam Fasha Gukora Bzinch, as Zam Fasha, no Gukora, no Guhang, giving the Vishaku, the Anthony Gitacherizo, which any Burana Jukos, the Shishkarizera, a Koga Jenzanje, Murashovoye, Mungakore Virenze, Harry Hobjins, Jocha to Gichene, the Senesi Muru Sanj. Rero icyo dusabwa ni ukuzana igitekerezo abadushitera inkunga y'amafaranga bo barahari nkuko nangi yari inkunga ari ari ubushobozi bundi buje mu bwo mu byo nakoraga rero nibitinyuke turashoboye